Welcome dear viewers. Today we have a very eminent academician, Dr. S.G. Gopal Krishna with us, who is also the director of the Nagarjuna Group of Institutions. Sir, could you tell something, as, uh, something about selecting an engineering college? Namaste. Now, every student, they have to write the common entrance test in the state of Karnataka to get selected to any of the professional courses. Now, when I say professional course, the students, they would have written the examination right now. Now, after the results are announced, at that point of time, depending upon the ranking of the student, the seat allotment will be done automatically by the computer. They have a program for it. So, it is a looping. The students will have to give the option entry. They will be provided with an opportunity to enter the option entry, wherein a student can select, my first choice is X college with branch Y, with branch Z, with branch P, with branch Q. So X college with all these branches, they can make the selection. Now these are all the options that the student will be giving. Now when they give this option, what computer will do is, depending upon the rank, it will check whether the rank will suit and the seat is available in this college for this particular branch. If it is av available, it will be allotted. If it is not available, it will go to the next choice of the candidate, the next branch, the next branch, the next branch. It will loop like that and it will go on checking. Once that college is completed, it will go to the next college. The next college means whatever the student has ent entered in the next, that will be the next college for him. So like that, what I wish is, a student, for example, if he makes the choice of 10 or 20 colleges, he will be at a disadvantage. The problem is, after all these 20 colleges also, if his rank is not falling in between these colleges, then he will not get a seat allotment at all. This is a problem which the students have to understand. So therefore, what I suggest is, have the maximum options entered. When the option is given, you enter as many colleges as possible. You can enter even 100 colleges, 150 colleges. Under each college, you can enter five or six or seven branches. You can enter all these options and test. So when the rank is announced, depending upon the rank, wherever you get, that seat allotment will be made. That branch and that particular college, seat allotment will be made. This is the process. So therefore, dear students, please enter as many colleges and as many branches as possible in the option entry. I have a suggestion here to the students as well. Now, when the option entry is done by the candidates, the mock allotment will be done. So at that point of time, every candidate will come to know which branch of engineering and which college that person will get. So depending upon that, the mock allotment, any changes that they have to make in the earlier option that they have entered, they can make. This option will be given. Now I will come back to the same point. I said 100 to 150 colleges you can enter. The very purpose is, see, when once the mock allotment is done, after that the changes are permitted only within the list that you have already uploaded earlier. Now a point will come, supposing I want a different college other than these 150 colleges it is not possible to change that afterwards. So please, therefore, you enter as many colleges and as many branches as possible, number one. Then secondly, after the mock allotment is done, if you want any change to be done, you can do those changes. The option, for example, the 20th uh, option that I have entered can be brought into 15. The 15th one, I can take it to 25. Such changes are possible. Secondly, if I want to delete any of the college or the branch, I can delete such options as well. So these two options are possible after the mock allotment is done. At that time, you have the time to correct yourself. The tentative allotment will be the mock allotment. Then after that, the students are given a choice to do the changes. After that, the final allotment will be done. Once the final allotment is done, the candidates will have to go to that college and get themselves admitted.
Sir, this uh, CET process might sometimes be very complicated for the second PUC students after their uh, exams. So, could you just give us an example and tell me how exactly this works? What I feel is personally, the students will have to go to the campuses and see the campus and then visit some of the laboratories in different branches of engineering. Then they will come to know the branches and their applications. Now, once they know that, then after that, the interested branch should be taken as a model. And for example, under Nagarjuna College of Engineering, if I am interested in electronics and communication engineering, then put Nagarjuna College of Engineering as the top uh, ranking uh, student, uh, top ranking institution there. And then you write electronics and communication engineering is my first option under NCET. Under NCET, you can mention next uh, computer science, information science, civil, mechanical, depending upon the interest of the student, they have to go like that. If a student is very particular and if they are interested only in, for example, computer science, they have to enter only Nagarjuna College of Engineering Computer Science. Go to the other uh, college next and then Computer Science because if you don't get, for example, Nagarjuna College of Engineering Computer Science, then you are very particular in studying Computer Science, therefore go to the next college and take the Computer Science branch there. So, both the models are there. One is fix up the college where you want to study. The second one is fix up the branch where you, which one you want to study. So, either of these two will work. If you are very particular with a branch, please stick to that branch and then mention one after the other the college names. 150 colleges also you can mention. Please mention Nagarjuna College of Engineering also on the top so that you stand every chance to get a seat through CET in NCET. Recently, we have introduced one uh, program called uh, the training the students in the pre-final year and the final year. Now, after this training, the placement becomes very easy and successful. So, therefore, all such activities are on campus. We have different facilities for the students. Wonderful world-class facilities are there. We have gym. We have various committees and clubs. We have IEEE Society chapter we have, IST chapter we have, Computer Society of India chapter we have, and under mechanical we have the ISHRAE, Indian Society for Heating and Refrigeration, Air, Air Conditioning Engineering chapter. All such chapters give very good professional outlook for our students. Enjoy that and come up successfully as engineers. I wish every viewer to select Nagarjuna College of Engineering as their destiny for building up their professional life. Thank you very much, sir, for clarifying so many uh, questions which the students possibly have. Uh, some of your final words to our uh, students. Uh, Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, channel. I wish uh, the students to make a choice and uh, select Nagarjuna College of Engineering and Technology as their college of study. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for being with us today.